It looks like Apple will have to drop some serious money to Qualcomm to secure those 5G chips next year. We have new renders of the Google Pixel 3a and 3a XL and hint to something at Google I.O. And another Facebook password breach is now public, but this time it seems to be for Instagram accounts. I'm Jaime Rivera, and uh, for those of you interested in hearing more verdict on the Galaxy Fold, watch our Pocket Now Weekly. Three people that have used it or are currently using it are on the stream. I'm there too. This is Pocket Now Daily. The official news today begin with deals. Again, Apple Watch Series 3, not my cup of tea, but right now it's nearly $80 off, depending if you're looking for Walmart or Amazon. And we're talking about the larger variants, so the discount's actually even more impactful if you go for the smaller one. You can learn more in the description. Now let's move the spotlight over to BlackBerry. For those of you wanting that key to Red Edition, it's going to be on Amazon and Best Buy very soon, $6.99, it's a crazy price. It's a limited edition, but uh, you know, that's not the saddest news when it comes to BlackBerry. How about if we talk about the fact that the BlackBerry Messenger, all two of you, sorry, just one? Okay, all one of you that were using the BlackBerry Messenger, that's gonna die on May 31st. So back up your data, whichever inexistent data you have. Now let's talk about Facebook and uh, the fact, the sad fact that they own Instagram. Uh, because recently the company told everybody that thousands of passwords were uh, kept in plain text and that uh, they're, I don't know, they got leaked. Now it turns out that no, it's not thousands, it's millions of passwords. My advice to you, change your password right now. Um, can somebody buy Instagram? I mean, if we could just, you know, collect money, all of us, I think we could buy Instagram and just get it away from these guys. Now let's move the spotlight over to Google and the Pixel 3a, Pixel 3a XL. It seems that we've got some final renders, this time from trusted sources, and the rumors are that in the documents that they found, the launch will be at Google I.O. And this is really interesting, as usually Google I.O. is a developer conference, so we're trying to understand how these mid-range Android devices from Google are going to be any better than what we currently have. We'll see. And finally, the hottest news today have to do with uh, the whole Qualcomm and Apple dispute over iPhones. Uh, yes, we know that they're now partners. Yes, we know that they are now working together. But for those of you wondering exactly how much money was paid here, apparently between five and six billion dollars were paid from Apple to Qualcomm in damages, or not necessarily damages, but part of the settlement, up to eight to nine dollars per iPhone sold. Do the math. Uh, so yeah, uh, the good thing is, obviously there is a partnership for 2020 for 5G modems. Let us know what you think in the comments down below. Are you happy with the fact that these companies are making up? Are you not? In my case, I have complained so much about the bad quality and in Intel modems on iPhones that I'm happy. But that's just me. Obviously, I also wish there were more competition and you know what I mean. Leave us a comment down below. We'd love to know your opinion. Friends, again, if you want to get the news earlier, follow us on PocketNow.com and subscribe to both our channels, English and Spanish, for more videos like this one. You can follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera, on Instagram at Jaime Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I'm Jaime Rivera. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next week.